Hello and welcome to Long's Toys. Today I have a Lego Marvel Super Heroes review for you today. This is from the Ultimate Spider-Man subline. This is set number 76016, the Spider Helicopter Rescue. It has 299 pieces. It costs about $45. Here's the front of the box. You get four minifigures here. A big fig of Green Goblin, Spider-Man, Mary Jane, and Power Man. Just let me show you the back of the box real quick. Shows some of the features it has, like firing missiles and a net launcher, some flick fire missiles. So there you go. Let's move in and take a look at the minifigures. Okay, so up first for the minifigures here we have Spider-Man. This is pretty much the same Spider-Man that we've been getting in every set that has Spider-Man. The head and the arms are red and everything else is very blue. I wish they would do a little bit of like paint his boots on his feet or something like that. Just a little bit more red to break up all the blue. I think it's just a little bit too much blue. But otherwise he's great. The painting on the head is fantastic. Okay up next we have Mary Jane. She's wearing an I Heart Spider-Man tank top. She looks pretty good. I believe it's the same kind of hair piece that like Pepper Potts and some of the other figures we've seen before. Uh, she does have a second face. It's kind of a face of alarm and a little bit of back printing there, just the back of her tank top. But overall, she's okay. Someone for Spider-Man to rescue. Okay, and then here we have Power Man. I love this guy. I think he looks great. I love his shades. I think they make him look real kick-ass. Really nice back printing here. His costume is pretty well done. I think the printing on the figure looks really good. I love those shades. I feel like you could use that head for like a blade custom or something. Or maybe we'll get lucky and one day we'll actually get a blade minifigure. Okay, and then last but certainly not least, we have the big fig of the Green Goblin. He's pretty excellent. I love the gray and black costume they have him in. It's just really, really nicely like a paint applied. or It's kind of molded on as well. It's really, really nice. I think he looks fantastic. Personally, I'm more of a fan of the you know normal goblin with the purple costume, but I really, really like this minifigure. Or I should say big figure, not minifigure. Okay, and then the first like little vehicle you get in this set is the Goblin's Glider. It has some really nice stickers. Let's see if I can focus on this. It says Oscorp on both wings. This is a sticker, this is a sticker, and this piece here is a sticker. Then he's got two flick fires under here. <laughs> flick fires never really fire that well for me. They just kind of dribble out. And then he's got these two, which I guess are just like cannons. You pretend they're cannons because they don't fire. But overall, I think it's a pretty good glider. He just kind of hops right on top of these two pieces here. Just click them right on. And then he's flying around. Uh, something else I forgot to mention, which I do think is cool. If you take a look at his hand here, it's molded so that you can... Slide in a Lego minifigure's feet from the bottom. Ugh. Mary Jane's headpiece keeps wanting to fall off and slide around. Not really sure why. Uh, I swear this fits in here. Do I have to fit? No, it should go in. There we go. So you can do it like on the box where he holds her upside down like he's capturing her. Which I think is pretty fantastic. Overall, it's a fun little glider. I think it works. I wish it came with some pumpkin bombs or something, but other than that, pretty great. Now, the main piece of this set is this giant Spider-Man helicopter, which I have to say is very cool. I really love the red and blue. They're so bright, and they're Spider-Man's colors, so it just works great. Now, it does have a sticker here. If I can focus and get this helicopter out of the way. There's a shield sticker there. And the same shield sticker on that side. And then there's this uh, 
Spider-Man sticker right there on the front. The blades, they just move around. You know, you can just pop them right off. This piece just literally sits on top of there. I'm going to kind of put them to the side while I show you the features because it keeps moving around. Uh, so you have these two kind of like horizontal blades. They don't spin that great because they're kind of tight. But I guess if you pulled them out a little bit, you could maybe loosen them and they'd spin better. Yeah, there you go. Uh, this can do a full 360. So you can move that around however you like. Uh, not really too much going on back here. These can spin. Uh, a little bit of a motor on top of there. Now this side right here is a net launcher. So if you press this right in right here and just shoots out this net that you just kind of, you know, fold up and smash in there. I'm going to put that off to the side. This piece over here has these uh, four white missiles which you fire them two at a time, the top two or the bottom two. So if I just, and then they come flying out of there. Oop. And then you just pop them right back in. So that's pretty cool. The other feature for this set is as you can see, there's two cockpits here. This cockpit is clicked in right there and just lifts up like that. This cockpit is not does not have a swivel like that you just pull it off and it's just this piece here just connects right there now I'll try to get in here I think it's very cool there these are this is one sticker and this is one sticker but that looks like a joystick and then there's like a little screen and some buttons so you can go ahead and pop in power man uh. There you go. Then you go ahead and close this up. Now the feature that's down here. Let me focus a little bit. There we go. In this set you do get a strand of webbing for Spider-Man. And you can see right here there's a little spot. So you connect it to that. Then you bring in Spider-Man and connect him to the other end. Now this is completely open. There is no floor down here. There's just this little ledge right here. Let's see if I can get the light in there, right there. So, and there's also this little thing right here, which pushes off the ledge, you can see. Oops, Spider-Man fell off. Let me get him back on here. Ah, Spider-Man is not cooperating. There we go. So you go ahead and put him, attach him to the ledge that's inside there. Just like that. Feed this down through. Yeah. And then if you close that, if you just look at it, it kind of just looks like Spider-Man's in the cockpit, which I think is cool. And I appreciate that they did not, like this is tall enough that his head just fits there. Uh, then the gimmick is if you press this in, it pushes him off the ledge. And then he drops down and he'll hang down from the bottom, you know, so he can swing and get the drop on somebody. So it's a cool little feature. And if you don't really care for it, you can just kind of stand him on the ledge or any other figure. If you don't really care about that and you just want another figure to ride inside, you can just put him on the ledge and then it just holds two figures. So it's a nifty little gimmick. Doesn't always work the best, but, you know, it's kind of fun. I'll just pop this back on. This completely swivels as you can see. So, all in all I think that's pretty cool. So I have to say that I really enjoy this set. You get a lot of great minifigures. I love the Green Goblin Big Fig. Uh, Mary Jane's not bad. I think she's the weakest of the whole set. Um, just because, I don't know, it's hard to even tell really it's Mary Jane. It's just kind of a generic person with a spidey t-shirt on i mean not that it would be easy to really make it definable as mary jane i mean she's a redhead as with minifigs that's kind of as much as you can do i get it um but the power man minifig is really awesome uh you get another spider-man which by now you probably have a lot but you know spider-man has to come with the set it's his helicopter 
I really like the Goblin Glider, and I also really like the helicopter. I think it's got some cool features. I like the net launcher. I like the missile launcher. The swing down from the bottom feature is kind of cool. It doesn't always work 100%, but it's, it is kind of fun. And I just really love the colors. I love the bright red and the bright blue on the helicopter. I think it really makes it pop. So I definitely recommend this set. Um, if you're a fan of Lego, if you're a fan of Spider-Man, regardless, I think you would enjoy it. A lot of cool minifigures. Uh, like I said, this set does retail for about 45 bucks. Maybe if you're lucky, you can have a coupon or you can get it on sale, make it a little bit cheaper. Uh, but I definitely recommend it. I think it's a really cool set, especially if you love Spider-Man and you love Legos. You would definitely, definitely enjoy this set. Uh, so... Please tell me what you think in the comments. Please like and share this video. Please make sure you're subscribed. I have links down in the description for my Facebook and Twitter. Please make sure you're following me on there. I hope you've enjoyed this review of LEGO Marvel Super Heroes set number 76016, The Spider Helicopter Rescue. Thanks for watching.